Hey there, I'm your host Les Sawi, and in today's video I will show you how to create an upper body locomotion. So we will be blending our lower body with our upper body and this will allow us to do cool things such as play our animation montage while on the move so we don't have to restrict our player's movement and we won't be sliding all over the place. So this will also work if you're standing still just like so and if you have any other mechanics such as crouching so even if i am moving i can take my weapon out it's working perfectly for us and i can put it back so with all that said let's begin open up your project and let's go to the content chore now over here you'll see i prepared few animations so i'm using these just to save some time we have the draw and sheet animation which we will be using to play in our character as a montage so let's select them right click and do create an montage now for the other tree, I want these to be used in a blend space. So like at the very beginning of the video, we had our regular um, walking and then we had our armed walking. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So I have them in a tutorial folder just so it is easier for you to see. And let's right click, go to animation and let's create a blend space 1D. So over here, I'll call these since it's a blend space, so BS underscore Brady underscore armed. So right over here, I will set this set this name to be called speed. And for the maximum speed, I'll do something like 350. And let's get our armed idle like so. Uh, zero is the speed. Then we have the armed walk, which I will set at 100, I think that was or 125. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. And for the armed run, this will be set at 350. So let's save that. And that's our blend space done. So I'll be using this as an example to show you how to blend the upper and the lower body montages. So since everything is pretty much done here, let's go and create an input action so I can play the draw and sheet inside of our player character. Now, if you have this, then of course you don't have to do it. Since I don't, I will draw and sheet so save that and let's go and put this inside of our imc now over here let's take that and this will be on my or key once happy let's exit and now let's go to our player character which for me happens to be pp underscore brady now over here let's call the input action we just created which we called draw and sheet now on started, I want to play a montage, but before we do, I want to create a branch and a variable, which is going to be a Boolean calling. This is equipped. So if equipped is true, then we will sheet. And if it is false, then we will draw. So on true, let's get our play montage node like so. And this is our sheet. And if I copy paste, we can change this to be our draw. Uh, like so. Don't forget your mesh character mesh. This goes here. This goes there. Already looking good. And now at the very end, I just want to set this to be false. So what's the best thing to do? Directly, I normally would have a notify begin. So let's actually create that. It'll just make our transition a bit smoother. So if I find the animations, draw and sheet. So on draw, for example, I'd have my weapon be in my hand about, about there. I think is good. Montage notify, save that. And let's also create one in the sheet. So over here, I'd play this and maybe about there, I'd put it away. So let's do add notify, montage notify, save that. And back here, since we have this, this will work for us. So let's call this to be false and let's call this to be true. So that's pretty good. Let's compile and see if this works. So let's hit the play button. And if I go to the take it out, yes, it does work. But of course, our blend space is yet not in place and we are sliding all over the place. So in order to fix that, let's go and go to our animation blueprint, which is over here. And let's cast to our player character, which for me is Brady. So whatever your character's name, just cast over there. The object will go to try get pawn owner. 
and we can also promote this to a variable for a future reference calling this brady ref this will go like so and over here let's get that boolean we created which we called is equipped so we just want to get it put that into a branch and over here i will have a new variable which is also a boolean calling it is armed so we don't get confused with the names so if equipped is true we want to uh, armed to be true and if equipped is false we want armed to be false so that's looking good and i'll be using this to set the difference in the locomotion and that's already looking good so let's go save that and if we go to our animation graph over here this is our regular locomotion so we want to create a new locomotion so let's do state machine and over here i'll simply get my blend space armed wait not yet not yet let's delete that and over here let's do a state calling this idle walk run now over here we can get that and i won't be doing a, any jumping or anything else um that will take too much time but essentially this is our armed blend space um so this should be working and i believe it's good so one more thing in our animation graph we need to distinguish when we play this and we when we play this and this also allows us to play our animation montages so without this no chance we wouldn't be able to do it and just to show you if i plug that in and go to press or this won't work for me so let's break that and over here i would do blend poses by bull there we are so our active value is going to be as armed so if armed is true then we will play our new locomotion which we should rename to call armed right our armed locomotion so that's the true pose and then our false pose is going to be this and this little gadget over here this little node will just allow us to play our nodes or i mean our animation montages so play around with the blend value i find this to be good at five or even four three play around see what happens and we're not done yet i'll just show you how this would look like so over here, if we take this out, we changed to our um, armed stance. And of course, it's not perfect, uh, but we could fix that later. So over here, we still get that slide, which is very ugly, and we don't want that. So to fix this little issue, let's get our regular locomotion. And let's create a saved cache. So we'll be able to reuse this. And I'll show you later how this works. Let's just call this our locomotion one, which will be our regular one. And if we take this locomotion, so let's call it our cache, used cache pose locomotion one. And we can use this together with this default slot, which allows to play animation montages. So you'll see how this works. And let's save this as a second cache. And let's call this locomotion two. Now, of course, you can come up with better names. This is just uh, very quickly. So over here, we want to blend this and blend this guy. So to blend them, we need something called a blend per bone, I believe, layered blend per bone. There we are. So I'll move this to the side. And we want the locomotion one and locomotion two. So let's call them used cache pose one and cache pose two. There we go. So there, like so. And I'd recommend to leave the value at one, but of course, play around, see how it looks like for you. Now, over here, this is called layered blend per bone. So over here in the layered setup under members index, we need to create um we need to create a bone that our code knows from which point to blend. So this bone can be found in the skeleton. And it's up to you how you decide. So in the animations, or that's my bad, over here in Brady Skeleton, all these bones could be used, but we want to determine between our lower body and our upper body. So spine, uh, spine nothing will do for us. 
Now, for you, these bones might have a different name, so just be careful. This is a capital S and P I N E. So we know what bone to use. Let's go back, select our layered blend per bone, and in the bone name, let's call this spine. Now, this will blend um, that locomotion, but we also want to blend uh, da -da -da, over here. So let's plug that into our true pose, I believe, or our false pose, because we are not armed. That's true, we're not armed. And is armed, it will determine are we armed or are we not. So plug that into the result, but we also need a true pose, and this true pose will be gotten from our armed locomotion. So get this guy and do a cache like we did we are doing the exact thing like we did with our regular locomotion so i'll call this a similar naming style armed one and if we call armed one cache there we go armed one we can get this guy and we can create a second cache calling this armed two like so armed two now this might be a little bit, little bit confusing so I do apologize at, uh, for that, but just take your time. You don't have to rush with this. So now we will use this guy and this guy and put it into here. So I'll simply copy this uh, since my bone is already set up for me. And let's get our cache one, which is armed to go here. And let's get our cache two, armed two, put that into here. So blend stays at one put into triples and let's see how this looks like so compile save and if we go to hit play i take my weapon out legs are moving like so of course you can make it look a lot better um even maybe five would be nice and of course we can do it while running the same thing applies so that's looking pretty good for us and of course with better animation comes a better blend but we can work with that a little bit so in the blend poses by bull we could change this to be maybe five and three looks good so i'll just see how five looks like uh da -da -da, play a little better so with all that said that's all there is so guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing